Morning. G'day. G'day, everyone. Welcome back to Wonga, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> so we showed you a sale, uh, sorry, a rental video here. And um, on the same day, we had a look at some sales. So separate videos. They'll be yeah. a few days apart, but we're going to look at we're going to look at sales. one bedrooms. One bedrooms for sale. Yeah, a big one bedroom and then a huge one bedroom. How big's the huge one? Huge one's 157 square meters for a one bedroom. Probably one of the biggest one bedrooms me and Jason have shown. Yeah. But it's a superb location here. Absolute beachfront. Absolute privacy. Down there where those umbrellas are, it's like where the fishermen come in and you can buy fresh seafood. Yes, fresh You've seafood. Got your own private beach access and you need a, your security card to get in and out. You've probably shown it, some of the people who've seen the cold videos already, probably seen the access here yeah. to the beach. We're gonna show you all the pool areas, facilities. Okay, but don't, don't switch off guys because the price per square meter is actually quite good in comparison. For beachfront, direct for, beachfront. For direct beachfront and for Wongamat, it's, it's quite good. So um, keep watching, worthwhile. A lot of potential. Definitely. Look at that view though. Woo. See that patio sign there? You so know, we're going to show you a 156 square meter. 57. 157 square meter one bedroom. Probably, I was asking Jason, is this probably the biggest one bedroom we filmed? I think so. Probably one of the biggest one bedrooms we filmed, definitely. Look at that view. Yeah, seventh floor here on the cove. Fully renovated. Yeah, this one was just renovated. It's up for sale now. You can see they took out the jack jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. Ditched it. No use for it anymore. But I think taking the jacuzzi out for a bigger balcony is not a bad decision. <laughs> this room's crazy. Yeah, the living room's crazy. Super big. Man. You like that, Jason? Very nice. Huh. This is all just living room. <laughs> it's a one bed, two bath. And you also get a back balcony. No fridge. Fridge you have to put in, yeah. Fridge not provided. But you do have the oven, stove, stove top. Then here's that little back balcony. You can put your washing machines in here where the ACs are. Yeah. Then you can just dry your clothes. In. But this back here is not bad too, actually. Uh, you see the Hilton from here, that new hotel. Terminal 21 in space. Space, yeah, terminal. Then you also see the a bit of the common area from the cove here, the little jogging track, the park. That's part of this. Yeah, that's part of the cove. So that park there is part of the cove. Do you know if pets are allowed here? I don't think so. Pets. Sadly not. Well, I think if we have, from most of the developers that I've talked with, I think they're mostly okay with cats because they're always in the room. And they don't make a lot of noise. Yeah, they don't, go, dogs, to the, they dogs don't go to common areas. Yeah, the dogs is a, is a bigger problem, I think. Because of the walks you have to do, the yeah. pool. Here's your bedroom. And the layout is actually similar to the master bedrooms in the two beds. Because you also have the double doors here when you go into the bathroom. And cabinets on the left and the right. 157 square meters. Yes, 23.6 million baht. Seventh floor, you get nice sea view from here. I mean, that's a lovely view to wake up. See the boats. Let's show that. That's a bit glary. So you're looking straight out across the Kailan. Exactly. You'll have very nice sunset views. Um, Padia Bay, Padia City sign. Ghost Tower. It'd look awesome at night. And also when you see the sunset, that would look awesome as well. 
Wicked, right? Oh, wi super wicked. <laughs> Extremely wicked. Uh, I'd say this one is probably one of my favorite renovated rooms in the cove. We've shown a few before, but this bathroom that I really like. I don't know why, what, mm. what it is, but I really like it. It's just like got it. a high-end high feel about it. Yeah. New bathtub as well. You know, you know the, the maintenance, maintenance fees here? Maintenance is 65 baht. 65 baht per square meter per month. 60, 60, or 60, yeah, 60, I think 60. 60. 60 baht per square meter. And sinking fund would be 800 baht. Paid once. Yeah, sinking fund, one time payment, maintenance fee annually. And transfer? Fee? Transfer is one percent to the developer, yeah. And do you have to pay any annual fees to the land and land office? Well, there is a property tax. Uh huh. But it used to be not mandatory. I think it's mandatory now. But most of the people actually don't pay the tax, property tax. We 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 had one incident that was funny with a client of ours. Um, client of my boss. My boss told me about it. Um. He never paid a uh, property tax, but he, he's, he's from Switzerland as well. Mm -hmm. And he had to declare it in Switzerland. So he went to pay the property tax. And when he was with the officers there at the tax mm -hmm. they laughed at him because he wanted to pay property tax. Because <laughs> no one ever pay, no one usually pays it. No one usually pays it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. People are going to ask a lot of questions about But it's about mandatory that. now. Mandatory. Yeah. Do you know what the percentage is or? I think before it was 0 0.02%. Mm-hmm. So it's actually a super small amount. Yeah. It's not that much. Let's pay it annually. Yeah. Here. Nice little storage area. Okay. You can get creative in here, even in this little small place. Well, so this is, this is the door. And it's also a corner room, nice to mention. So oh, you yeah. only have one neighbor. Yeah. And that's a sliding door there. It goes across. Yeah. Close so yeah. 157 square meters, 23.9 million. 23.6 million. 23.6 million. 60 baht, 60 60 baht, baht maintenance. per square meter maintenance. And 800 baht sinking fund. Okay. Let's go and look at another one. <gasps> Get a in the next room. Yeah. So we've come across to the other side. This is the northern side. Wongamat side. Okay. Wongamat side. Wongamat side, yeah. And um, well, it's nice to see a ROM. Yeah, a ROM's tall, almost finished. Tall, now. skinny building. It's basically finished. They've just got to do a little bit right on the top. Anyway, so this is a 90... 91 square meter. 91 square meter. One better. One bed. Big balcony. That's your view, and you're all going to say they're going to build something there, possibly. We don't know. It used to be a restaurant there, mm. um, from what the developer told us. It used to be a restaurant there. All this land is owned by the same owner. That's right. Uh, the cove's owned by a rich Thai family, Padia. And so, so this used to be a restaurant, but um, I think the owners and tenants of the cove were complaining about the noise that uh, the restaurant made. So they shut it down. Tore it all down. Wow. That's good to know. And since then, it's been empty. No mm. one's using it, obviously. This one's a new layout also. I think we haven't shown the, something like this. This is probably the smallest room we've shown in the code. 91 square meter, one bed. How much? This one's 12.3 million baht. And that works out at how much per square meter? 125,000. 125,000. For beachfront in Wongamat? It's actually Solid. not that bad, is it? Because what's a ROM Wongamat per square meter? When we looked at the penthouse with, with my client, it was 330,000 maybe almost for, for the penthouse, obviously. But even the two bedders and one bed are above 200,000. Right. Kitchen's kept pretty simple. I think some things you have to change here, though. They did do a slight renovation. I think that still not enough. Mm. Also change the the oven, new cabinets. 
New did fridge. get a new fridge though. Which is nice. And that living room is kind of a bit yeah, sparse. A bit random, right? A but I bit. think if you do a good job on it, it'll look yeah. wicked. Yeah. This is the bedroom. And Manu and I were just saying it's kind of unusual that it's got a queen size bed. Yeah. But I think I can see why with the designer, they've got these big wide bedside tables. Yep. Or nightstands as some of you guys call them. And um, this is also a different look if you haven't noticed yet. Because it's, oh, yeah. it's usually the, the wood doors, similar color to that one here on the floor. It's true. But here they all put it in this. This yep. is Maltic. And then you have the new fancy curtains behind. It's like a graduation. <laughs> okay. Room size is still good though. 91 square meter, one bedroom is more than enough to live in. For oh, sure. Here's the bathroom. Bit dark. Probably put in more light. The oh, lights are all on. Yeah, pretty simple. Makeup table. The balcony also stretches from all the way here to the living room. I think we were standing about in the middle. Yes. Probably standing around there. And then here also you can put in your washing machine again where the ACs are. Oh. Pretty wicked. Entrance area. You also have the door that you can close again. Comfy sliders that I didn't see. Guest bath. And here you have fix. Oh. Okay. So before we show you the facilities, this is just the lobby. And this is what see. me and Jason were talking about before though also. You see how quiet it is here? Yep. Only hear birds. And here at the ground floor where the elevators are, there's two elevators. More than enough here actually. Never had elevator problems here. No. And here are the mailboxes for all the rooms. And as you can see, stops at 103, so there's only 103 units here. On the left of Jason, there's a kids club. Which I dare say would rarely get used. Probably never. <laughs> Probably never. <laughs> Here's like a hangout area. It's in the shade. You can sit, talk with friends. Landscaping is also very beautiful at Pico. It is. Relaxes your mind. Here's the library. Snooker room. Full size snooker table, pool table, or billiards. With, With the big light. Here's one of the squash room guys. A bit dark, probably. <laughs> Manu still hasn't worked out how to work the lights here. This one's got a ping, ping pong table in it, table tennis. And there's another one here. There's another one here without a table. Oh, it's getting brighter. Ah! Here's a car park. You see there's cars here, but there's still enough space so you can park two, three cars if you own a property here. Yep. That's where you can go up to the elevators. Look at this. So it's um, about 12.30 p.m. No I'm one to be seen. No people inside. Great pool. Nice and cold water. Cool. So we enjoy. This is the pool area. You'll have a little jacuzzi area here and a smaller pool. And then behind Jason there, you can see the gym. This one's nice. Mm. Someone just cleaned, yeah. Ooh. Solid gym though. I think you have almost everything. Lovely security just opened the gate for Yep. On the left, you see the little jogging track. That's very nice. Garden. 
Even the fountain, you know, when you drive in here the whole way. Quite cool, quite relaxing. It is. Some people might say it will be dark in the evening, but they do have street lights oh, everywhere. Oh, there's plenty of street lights. I've been down here at night. When I used to live in Mongamet, came for a ride down here. Ah, uh, yeah, when you lived in Tropicana, right? The city yeah, Garden Tropicana. Tropicana. Yep. So straight at the top of this road is uh, Soy Naklua. Is that right? Yes. Yes. And if you go left, that takes you right into Wongamat itself. All the beachfront properties and Aron Wongamat, North Point. It's You're also down, right? very close to Terminal 21 from the cove. Oh, crazy place. Very close to Terminal 21. So this is Soy Naklua. Currency exchange, bars, weed cafes, massage, Chinese restaurant, angel school. Come on, man. What else do you need? Hotel here. Yeah, this is the brand new one. Akara. It looks very nice. It does. I need to go and check that out. Right across from the space. Space there. This part here is quite cool, actually. Uh, this will be renovated by the developers of the ONCE. Remember? 20-year Elite Visa? When you uh -huh. basic yeah. that was a They're developing this area now here with the commercial shops. And it will look quite cool. Other side, you'll see some uh, 3D pictures of how it would look like. So, Dolphin Roundabout. There you go, there's Terminal 21 straight across there. How long did it take us, Chase? Four minutes? Three minutes? Oh, minutes exactly. Back? Anyway, those, um... Oh, yeah. Here's a commercial shop that they're trying to build. It will look like this. Mm. They said, actually, that it's going to be similar to a little walk. Okay. Nice. So, bar buses, as you can see, they run up and down Naklua, Soy Naklua as well. And private ones run down right into Wongamat. Terminal 21 there, awesome shopping centre. You've already all seen all this stuff Massive on thing. YouTube. But those, um... Cove renovated apartments for sale. They're, they're quite good. And as Manu said in the intro, the price per square metre for a beach running Wongamat is is not that bad. It's 125,000 baht per square yeah. for a fully renovated absolute beachfront. Hundred, only 103 units in the building. Anyway. And then also, though, if you don't want a renovated unit already, because you'll pay a bit more because right, mm -hmm. they did the, all the work already. There's also units available that uh, are not renovated. Okay. Where you can get a good deal. Sure. And Sounds then you good. can renovate it yourself. Or if you want to do a project or something. Yep. That would or, be also a good option. Or get Ramon's wife, um, Katia, who's yeah, yeah, yeah. an interior designer. She can help. Anyway, awesome. Thanks, mate. Thank Appreciate you. it. Please. Like, subscribe, share, follow. Awesome. Stay wicked. Stay uh, wicked. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks, guys.